Who the hell are you? And Batman. Wait a minute, you're not Batman. That's Batman over there. Shoot. Yeah, what's up, my boys? I'm back at you again to review the Wolverine Lego Mac. Like, to be honest with you, this is like something that I've been looking forward to getting for a very long time. Like when it was first like revealed that we we're getting a Lego Wolverine mech along with a Black Panther mech, I was actually so excited because this is actually going to be our, our first Wolverine minifigure that we've gotten in five years. And as you can see with the mech, like it has like like everything they they know about Wolverine. There's the claws, the shoulder pads, whatnot. Hell, even the color scheme looks a lot like him. Yeah, you can, you can like pose the arms, the hands, the legs. Also pretty interesting about the legs. They actually like, ch like Lego actually like changed like, like the, the build for like the hips. Like for the earlier mechs, like here's the Miles mech to show you. And as you can see like the hips at the hip joint can like move. But the new mechs, like, don't. But it's also why this wave of mechs were, like, were, like, delayed till April. Because, like, it had made a new, like, build for the legs, but it sort of was faulty, like, had stability issues, so they had to change it to, like, this. And what's pretty unique about it, like, let me take it apart to show you. Yeah, like, with, the, like, the new hip build, it uses, like, two of those, like, mixel joints. And place like one of them on top of each other. Like I don't think like any like Lego review has like like shown this off. But yeah, I just wanted to point it out because because I think that it makes this build like more stable and whatnot rather than the old build. So I think this probably looks pretty good. All right, now on to the minifigure, which is the Wolverine minifigure himself. And this is actually our first ever Wolverine minifigure that we've ever gotten in like five years. Like the last set that. Had a Wolverine minifigure was the was the Mighty Micro set the the Wolverine versus Magneto set. So it's pretty awesome that we are actually getting another Wolverine minifigure. I can bet that this is like one of the main draws of the set. And yeah, Wolverine just has like plain looking legs. Like there isn't any dual molding or printing on them, which is such a shame. But at least the rest of it looks good including the mask and the face prints. So yeah, one face print is just an angry look with his goggles on. And with another, uh, on the other side, it's just like a little smirk. Yeah, it's quite a shame that we didn't get his like hair, like an alternative hair piece to put on him, which is kind of a shame, but who knows? Maybe if we get like more Wolverine minifigures, like, like more sets based off the X-Men, we can hopefully get his hair piece sometime soon. Alright, now onto the box, and as you can see, we have like Marvel Wolverine on the on the top, as well as the X-Men symbol down there. And you can also see that it uses like the old like build for the legs, which was the reason that they had to delay the set along with the other wave of the sets. Now on the backs of the box, you get the mech and the Wolverine minifigure. So yeah. So yeah, that was my Lego Wolverine mech review. So yeah, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe because it will really help the channel to help it grow and whatnot. So yeah, I'll catch you all later. See ya. You are dead. No big surprise.